Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to create Notion database items from Google Sheets. So the idea is that once the data is entered in Google Sheets, it will be reflected as a page in Notion automatically. But the issue here is there is no direct data connection between Google Sheets and Notion. So that is why I will be using an integration and automation software called as Pabli Connect that integrates Google Sheets to Notion. The best part here is any person without any technical knowledge can perform this integration easily. Now before I show you the steps, how about we begin with a real time example. Okay, so this is my Google Sheet and this is my Notion account. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fill my Google Sheet. I'm going to basically enter some detail in my Google Sheet and we will see whether a page will be created in Notion automatically or not. So let me add some details. We have a guy called as Chubi and the age of Chubi is let's say 65. This is uh, Chubi's phone number and this is the email ID of Chubi at the rate gmail.com. Okay, so let's have a visit in Notion to check whether a new page has been created automatically from the data present in Google Sheet. So let's have a look. Yes, as you can see, a new page has been created. So we have the same details that we have in Google Sheet. We have the name, we have the phone number, we have the age, and of course we have the email. Okay, so if you are clear with the example, let us begin the process. So to begin the process in the new tab, just type pabli.com, P-A-B-B-L-Y.com, pabli.com, press enter. So this is the website of pabli.com. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free, create your account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already built my account. So that is why I'm just clicking on sign in. Okay, so this is the app section of Pabli. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow. Click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Google Sheets to Notion. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. It's totally on you. And let me just click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. Now in the trigger window, since we are going to send the data from Google Sheet, how about we make it as Google Sheet? So this will be our trigger app. So we have selected the app as Google Sheet. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new spreadsheet row? Okay, so the essence here is we want to send the data from Google Sheet when a new row is created in our Google Sheet. So what I'm going to do here is first of all, let me just uh, go to Google Sheet. Okay, I'm going to create a Google Sheet and I'm going to send the data from that particular Google Sheet. So basically, I'm just trying to show you everything from scratch. Okay, so we are going to uh, create a new Google Sheet and let me just uh, name this as uh, database 101. Okay, that would do. And we have nearly the same columns, okay, that is uh, name, then we have email, then let's say we have age, and let's go with address this time, okay. So we have four columns, name, email, age, and the address. So what we are going to do here is we want to send the data from this Google Sheet to Pabli Connect, and this is how you do it. So first of all, you may have a question, why the hell are we working on incognito mode? Well, the answer is very simple. If you have a Google Sheet, if you're working on Google Sheet and have multiple Gmail accounts, it is always advisable that you work in incognito mode. Otherwise, you will have the problem of authentication. So what I'm going to do here is to begin the actual integration process. First of all, let me just click on add-ons. So in the add-ons, you will find an add-on called as Pabli Connect Webhook. Now, Pabli Connect Webhook is an add-on that I have installed in my system. Now, since you're beginning fresh, you first have to go to get add-ons to get Pabli Connect Webhooks. Click on Get Add-ons. Okay, so when you click on Get Add-ons, Google Workspace Marketplace opens up in front of you. So what I'm going to do here is in the search, I'm just going to click on search for Pabli Connect Webhooks, this one. Okay, so as you can see, Pabli Connect Webhooks is already installed in my system. All you have to do is just click on this button to install Pabli Connect Webhooks. Now remember this, after installing Pabli Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat this again, after installing Pabli Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. So let me just cancel this. So overall, I am assuming that 
you have installed public connect webhooks and also refresh your google sheet so there is something else i have to tell you before we begin the actual integration as you can see d is our last data entry column i repeat this again column d is our last data entry column okay so let us go back to add-ons public connect webhooks and just click on initial setup so this is the window of initial setup here we have to fill two fields the webhook url as well as the trigger column so this is your webhook url let me just go here and copy this this is the webhook url you want copy this and simply paste it here excellent now with regard to the trigger column the trigger column is always the last data entry column so in our case the last data entry column is column d so that is why i am going to mention the trigger column as column d so at this point all you have to do is just click on submit essentially you have integrated this google sheet to Pabli connect so there is something else you have to do a small minor thing go back to add-ons Pabli connect webhooks and just click on send on event so this will ensure that anytime column d is built it will keep sending on the data to Pabli connect okay so let's have a look whether public connect is capable of capturing the data yes it is showing it is capable of capturing the data so what we are going to do here is we are going to enter some detail so we have a guy called as uh, let's say joey okay and uh, this is the email of joey tripiani45 at the rate gmail.com and then we have the age so joey's age is uh, 67 okay and uh, this is uh, the address new york 23 TLF Road. So, this is the address New York. <laughs> it should be New York, but I somehow mentioned it as New York anyway. So, we have filled the last data entry column that is uh, New York 23 TLF Road. Okay, so we have entered all the details. Now, the last data entry column that is column D has been filled. So, this means the trigger column has been rigged. So let's have a look whether public connect since it is integrated with this Google sheet has it captured this detail or not. So let's have a look. Yes, we have the name that is Joey. Then we have the email tribiani45 at the gmail.com. And of course, we have the age that is 65. The address is New York 23 TLF Road. And uh, this is the row index that is 2 since uh, this is part of row 2. This is the whole row that is row number 2. Excellent. Now, using all these details, we are going to create a page in Notion and this is how you do it. First of all, you go to the action window and you select the app as Notion. Notion it is. Now in the action event, how about we make it as create a page and simply just click on connect. So we are going with a new connection. Now in the new connection, we have some instruction. So following this instruction, you can actually create your token. This is the token we want or you can simply follow me. So to create a token, what we are going to do here is first of all, we are going to create a workspace as well as a table. So let me just click on this plus button. And how about we give the name of the workspace as Google Sheets Backup. Okay, so this will be our workspace. And what we are going to do here is we are going to introduce a table, preferably an inline one. Okay, so this is the table that we are interested in. And the name of the table will be table 101 or how about 201. Okay, so we have uh, four columns, name, tags. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, we have only two columns, name and tags. We are working with the, the name. And uh, what we're going to do here is in place of tags, how about we add address. Okay, and in multi-select, we are going with um, the text type. That would do. Then we want, I think, the email. Yeah. And the property will be email. Okay. So what was the last field? Okay. We have also the age. So we are, I'm sorry. This is the sheet. This is the Google sheet that we are interested in. That is the age. Okay. We have the name. We have the email, the address, as well as the age. So we are going to create one for the age. Okay. We click here. We just going to rename this as age. And uh, we are going to the multi-select and we are going with the number. Okay, so let me just uh, delete the rest of the ones. Okay, we really don't want them. So the idea is that what we're going to do here is we just want to drag this uh, one here. The newly created uh, row upside on the top. I'm sorry. So we have uh, the new row at the top. So what we are going to do here is we want to bring all the data from this Google Sheet 
into Notion here. Now, first we have to generate a token and this is how you do it. So you have created a workspace that is Google Sheets Backup. And after that, you have uh, created a table, table 201. So what we are going to do here is, first of all, we have to integrate it with Babbly Connect. So let me just click on settings and members. Okay. And this is the whole process to generate a token. Now in settings and members, you will find integrations. Click this. Okay, so as you can see, I have created a ton of integrations. Now for your consideration, I'm going to create my own integration. I'm just going to show you how it's done. So click here and let me just uh, scroll down and you will find create new integration. So how about we give a name to this integration Notion Google Sheet. Just a random name and let me just click on submit. Okay, so technically this is our token. Okay, but uh, we are not ready to enter this token at this point. We have to make some changes also in our Notion account. So let me just remove this. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click here and make sure that this opens as a page. After that, click on share. Toggle this to the right. Make sure it is shareable to the web. And let me just click on invite. After that, let me have a look at the newly created integration that is Notion Google Sheet. Let me just click here and just click on invite. Excellent. So what we are going to do here is next, we are going to input the token. So this is the token. I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it here. So this is the token. Let me just click on save. So when you click on save, you will find the email, the address, the age, the name, as well as the one more field that is the content. So technically, technically, all those columns in Notion, all those columns we have in Notion is now reflected as fields here. Now we are going to map all these details from here to here. Now we are going to start with the first one, the email. So if you may remember, this is the email. So this is the data that we have collected from Google Sheet and this was the email, tribiani45 at gmail.com and we have mapped it here, easy. Similarly, we click here and go to the first accordion and we have the address, okay? So we have the address, then we have the age and this is the age and we have mapped it. Then we have the name, so we have the name as Joy. we have mapped it. We can just leave this field empty, that's for content. All you have to do is at this point, just click on save and send test request. Okay, so the response is a positive one. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, let me just uh, take you to Notion to check, do we have the details here? Yes, we have the name, Joey, we have the address, we have the email, and then we have the age. Excellent. So if you want to see as a page, so this is the page, excellent. So what we are going to do here is next, I'm just going to uh, finish it. Now, before I finish it, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So I'm just going to minimize uh, this window and I'm just going to minimize the trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Google Sheets to Public Connect and then you integrated Public Connect to Notion. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Sheets and Notion. So not just these two apps, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Public Connect. If you have any queries, please contact us at admin at the rate public.com. Also, the link of Public Connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.